What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're talking about the boys season season three episode eight recap. So the season finale recap is here. Episode eight opens with Ryan getting a visit from Homelander. This reveals that Newman's note from the last episode had Ryan's location on it. I'm assuming home because we know Homelander's been looking for him. Homelander tells Ryan that be, that Becca's death wasn't his fault, and he tells Ryan he'll always love him and be there for him. Then we are shown protests occurring over the recent events with Homelander and people calling to have to have Maeve freed. So free Maeve, hashtag free Maeve. Maeve is drugged and abducted, but escapes custody during the transportation. We are then shown Butcher, Huey and Soldier Boy suiting up for their last battle with the soups to finish the job and kill Homelander because that's their plan. Frenchie and Mother's Milk have a heart to heart moment about being good men. And then we jump to Homelander who is watching his public downfall on TV while Ashley and Deep reveal Maeve has been moved out the tower without him knowing because of the search warrant. Black Noir comes into the room and joins and joins forced with joins forces with Homelander to take out Soldier Boy. Butcher is then shown knocking out Huey and drives back to New York with Soldier Boy. A Train reveals to his brother that he killed Blue Hawk after trying to lie about not doing it. They have an argument about him killing Blue Hawk and A-Train then exits or leaves. Starlight is then shown picking up Huey and reveals that the temporary V is fatal. Huey realizes Butcher saved his life by doing it this way. They meet up with Maeve and Mother's Milk to reveal that Homelander is Soldier Boy's son. Soldier Boy then reveals to Butcher how he became a soup and his family history. They mostly talk about kids and wanting to be better than their fathers. Butcher reminds Soldier Boy of the deal with killing Homelander. We then seen or then shown Homelander revealing to Noir that Soldier Boy is his father. He was first asking about him to understand what his dad was like, asking questions to Noir about about Soldier Boy. Noir says that that Homelander must kill him because Soldier Boy is so bad. Noir also reveals he knew Soldier Boy was Homelander's dad. Homelander kills Noir for his years of disloyalty and hiding that secret. We are then shown Butcher and Soldier Boy who threaten the boys into hiding in a safe. Who threaten the boys into hiding in a safe while they and Maeve go to kill Homelander. These would of course include, from what I recall, this was Mother's Milk, Starlight, Frenchie, uh, and some other folks that are, you know, a part of the boys. I can't think of their names. Kamiko as well. But Homelander is then shown meeting with the seven and reveals that Noir is dead. And he talks about the truth he just discovered about his connection to Soldier Boy. And he criticizes cries, criticizes them for being a family he dislikes. We then jump to Starlight, Mother's Milk, Frenchie, Huey, and Kamiko breaking out of the safe. And they plan break they plan to break into Vault to do something about Homelander and Soldier Boy. Huey finds a dose of temporary compound V and takes it. Maeve, Soldier Boy, and Butcher confront Homelander. Homelander has taken Ryan into the mix to persuade Soldier Boy to turn on Butcher. Soldier Boy reveals he thinks Homelander is a weak, is a weak pussy, <laughs> star for attention, and it can't be fixed now. Ryan stops Soldier Boy from killing Homelander. And then we see Butcher who then stops Soldier Boy to protect Ryan because I guess Soldier Boy was going to kill Ryan or hurt Ryan in some way. Butcher, re Butcher reveals to Soldier Boy that Ryan is his wife's son. So now there's a problem if he wants to kill Ryan. The two then fist fight while Ryan is comforted by Homelander. Maeve and Homelander are then shown fighting in the other room. Soldier Boy is about to kill Butcher before Starlight and Mother's Milk stop him. Huey announces a terrorist threat in the building to get everyone to evacuate. Maeve and Homelander continue to brawl while Homelander ruins one of Maeve's eyes. Uh, so she's, I guess, a Cyclops now. <laughs> Homelander and Soldier Boy get into a fistfight around the Vought News Network as well. Kamiko tried to stop Soldier Boy, but fails. Starlight and Soldier Boy have a mini brawl where Soldier Boy is overpowered briefly. Maeve stabs Soldier Boy in the ear and sacrifices herself to save the boys from Soldier Boy's blast. Butcher and Homelander have another standoff and Ryan decides to leave with Homelander. Butcher passes out from the drugs and then it's revealed that he's in a hospital and he only has months to live. I believe that's what was disclosed that Butcher only has months to live because of the effects from that temporary compound V. Maeve is then remembered as a hero in the town, but she's revealed to still be alive. 
Uh, there's a statue and everything, I think. She's remembered as a hero, but she's still alive. It seems that what she's doing here is faking her death to stay away from Homelander and have a nice relationship. Uh, so she's giving up the Maeve persona and just going to live her normal life. So Ashley is then shown watching footage that reveals Maeve is alive and deletes it. Soldier Boy is is placed back in containment. Butcher rejoins with his team back at their headquarters and it's revealed that Newman has a new role that needs to be stopped. This, of course, being Victoria Newman. <laughs> and then we are shown Homelander introducing a crowd of people to his son, Ryan. Ryan is attacked by someone in the crowd and Homeland Homelander kills the attacker. They cheer him on from what I can only imagine is out of fear. Homelander's reign seems to just be far from over after an ending like that. Now, that was what I was talking about when I was kind of alluding to it in my last recap. This man just killed someone in front of them. They cheer him on, most likely, I would assume, out of fear. Everyone else around them, because someone else starts cheering them on, just joins in. And it's like, okay, when things really are just not right, if a lot of people are subscribing to something that's not right, other people just tag right along. They know it's not right, but they're going to tag right along either in fear or just this desperation to be constantly a part of something that's popular. What he just did was flat out wrong. I know that what the guy did was attempting to do to his son is also wrong, but the response from Homelander like that, that was also wrong. He just killed someone and they're cheering it on. <laughs> I think it really just shines a light on how a lot of people just go along with a narrative. They don't really care if it's true or not. They just go along with it because their friends are going along with it or because it's the popular thing to do. And that's just what they're going to do because that's what their friends are doing. They don't know anything about what they just witnessed. They know and even some of them know that what they're supporting is is freaking BS, but they're still going to support it. I love this season. I love how the season ended. I know a lot of people might be disappointed because Homelander didn't die. I just know there was someone who was fully convinced he was going to die. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. What did you think overall about The Boys Season 3? I know I did my review a few weeks ago and I've been doing recaps all this time. I might cover news on Season 4. If you want that, let me know down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, subscribe. Turn on the post notification. If there's a video in the description, I would have links on my social media accounts, on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.